Hello, this is Jeff from Baron Leathercraft, and today we are going to discuss the importance and the technical aspects of laser dot size. Here's the analogy. Think of the laser dot as your artistic brush. Just like a skilled artist selects the right brush for intricate details, laser dot size directly impacts the resolution of your engraving. Smaller dots allow for finer lines and intricate patterns. Larger dots, on the other hand, create bolder strokes but sacrifice fine detail. Spot size, or beam density, is how thin the laser is when it touches your artwork. The thinner the laser beam, the more detailed your laser is able to achieve. That's why beam density is so important. Very often people, when they search for a laser, they just look at how many watts it is and how fast the machine is. A very powerful laser and a very fast machine is excellent, but is it going to do the detail that you're looking for? In this video, I took four lasers, a 5 watt, a 10 watt, and two 20 watt lasers. As you can see, every one of these lasers engraved differently. In my opinion, lasers are similar to musical instruments. There's quality ones, and then there's junk, but they all sound differently. This is why when I do a laser review, on the most part, I'll use the same artwork in each review. That's why I concentrate more on the artwork than doing a cut and burn test. This way you're able to see the quality of the engraving and make a comparison by basing it on the other reviews. All right, let's get a little more detailed of a look. These were engraved by the 5 watt Atom Stack P7M40. Its beam density spot size is 0 0.02 millimeters. Let's go ahead and put that under a magnifying glass. In my investigation to find a definitive answer of what creates a small dot size or a dense laser beam, I ran into an incredible amount of information. You're better off having Leonard Hofstetter explain it to you. There's many variables, power, focal length, compression of the laser. If you're interested, by all means investigate. You don't want me explaining this to you. It's amazing how technically intelligent some of these people are. What I do want to share with you is the amount of detail that you see here in relation to the ones that I will show you in the future. Here is the hair barrette engraved by the same machine. Just recognize how crisp the lines are, so you'll be able to compare it to the ones I show you. These here were engraved with the Afero Laser 2, with the LU2-10A laser module, which is a 10 watt laser. It has a laser spot size of 0.05 to 0.1 millimeter. Although the laser spot size is a little larger on this laser, it definitely looks very good. I would use this laser comfortably to engrave art onto leather or any other item. All right, let's go ahead and put the barrette that was made by this machine under the magnifying glass. You can see in this example that the laser engraving was slightly more grainy. This video is to remind you of how important spot size is. This still looks fantastic and is very much useful. So if detailed artwork is your priority, Keep this in mind when you go to buy a laser. These here were engraved with the Aglo Delta 22 watt laser. And at 3% power, it's able to achieve a 0 0.06 millimeter to 0 0.05 millimeter spot density. And at 100% intensity, the spot density goes to 0 0.16 to 0 0.14 millimeters. When you look at it with the naked eye, it looks fine. But when you put it on the magnifying glass, you can definitely see the loss in detail. As technology grows, it would be nice to see powerful machines with very compressed spot sizes. That way, even though the machine is very powerful, we could still make very detailed artwork. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the barrette now. Here you can see an obvious decrease in color and detail. At the end of this video, I'll share a technique on how to darken this and other laser engravings. As you noticed, as the laser power increases, the dot size also increases in size. For this reason, there's less detail in the artwork. This is the Two Trees TS220 watt laser. 
According to its stats, it has a 0.05 to 0.1 millimeter spot size. Let's go ahead and take a deeper look. This is the way this laser portrayed the artwork to the naked eye. Let's go deeper with the magnifying glass. To me, there's no comparison to a laser with less wattage and a smaller dot size. If you're engraving a piece of art that doesn't have as much detail, a machine like this might cater fine to it, but it's never going to match the quality of a smaller dot size. That's why it's important to keep dot size in mind. Obviously, these higher wattage machines still engrave well. We're looking at them under the magnifying glass, but some people are very meticulous about detail. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison of a 20-watt laser and a 5-watt laser. As they say, remember that setting these lasers up is as much of an art as it is a science. So you could change a lot of factors and it will give you a different appearance. You can change the DPI, which is the dot per inch. You could change the amount of power that the machine is running at and the speed. But the size of the optical density for when the laser hits the actual material is really important. That's where your detail is going to come about. Remember, your spot size is the size of your brush. The smaller the brush, the more detail you're able to paint with. So keep this in mind when you buy a laser. Depending on the project I'm doing is how I choose what laser I'm going to use when I do it. If I'm just cutting a pattern out for a leather craft project, then I'll go ahead and use my 20 watt laser. If I plan on tooling the leather and I need to have a stencil on it, I'll go ahead and engrave the stencil and cut out the pattern with a 20 watt laser. If my intentions are to engrave detailed artwork onto leather or any other material, I'll use a 5 or 10 watt laser. Yes, it's going to take longer, but quality is important and you want your work to look the best. Of course, the material that you're engraving on makes a big difference. My 20 watt laser engraves onto slate very well. And because it does an excellent job on slate, I will use it because it's going to be faster. Fortunately, a 5 or 10 watt laser is not that expensive, especially a 5 watt laser. So you could actually own a 20 watt laser and also go ahead and buy a 5 watt laser. At this point in technology, lasers are just not one size fits all. Here's a technique to darken your engravings on leather. First, you're going to want to coat your leather with something that's called Resist. Resist will protect any parts of the leather that you do not want to stain any further. I personally use B Natural's RTC Resist, but there's many resisting compounds out there. Go ahead and wipe that on and make sure you give it a good coat and get all those nooks and crannies. If you feel like waiting another 15 minutes and adding another coat, it's up to you. It's just extra protection. One hour later. Then I use what is called Phoebing's Antique Paste, and I go ahead and I smear this into all the grooves. I'm going to be a little careful because there's holes on each side for the barrette sticks, so if you can avoid getting it in there, that would be great. The same applies if you have stitching holes. If you already have stitching holes, you want to go ahead and be careful because you don't want to get it in there and then it's going to get all over your thread. If you can go ahead and create the stitching holes after you apply this and it dries, that would be your best option. If you noticed, I wiped this stuff off right after I applied it. It's best to get it off as quickly as possible because you want to keep those areas that you don't want stained as clean as possible to create the contrast. There you go. This looks a lot better than it did. Let me go ahead and put up a before and after picture so you can get a good idea. When it comes to artwork, detail plays a huge role. Everything you make, you know you want it to look its best. I wanted to point out how important a thin laser beam is, because that is your brush. The smaller the dot size, the more detail you're able to do with your artwork. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope I was able to share with you the importance of spot size. It's a variable that's often overlooked when someone is trying to purchase a laser. If you don't mind clicking that like button, that would be greatly appreciated. 
If you feel like subscribing to the channel, I have a bunch of more videos coming out. And just thank you very much. And be good to each other, treat each other well, and take care.